in your mind, what would you? What would an ideal Boruto movie be for you? What would, What would the plot be? Great question. Oh, uh, so like one of my patrons, Dark Side, asked me to do a video like probably like last month uh, about like Naruto stuff now so Kage, and it was because like the stuff like with the karma seal, right? And I was like, man, you know, I don't know if that's something that could work. And I said, well, it could work as a time skip movie if you do something like this. So for me, I think doing a movie set during that time skip, and you have it where I said the same after thing. all this fallout with code. You have them go on a father son because we started off with father and son working together and board to the movie. The best way to segue from moving from, from being the story of Naruto and Boruto, which is what Boruto Part One is, according to Chapter One. Mm -hmm. The best way to segue away from that is to do a movie where it's father and son again. And they're looking for answers. Maybe it goes back to the whole thing that we were talking about earlier, where they're looking for answers on how to potentially have Boruto's karma seal removed or slow down the progression now if those pills aren't working and either they find an answer or they don't and that leads into the conflict of uh, Boruto part two but having that father and son closure and having Naruto have to come to that realization like I'm losing my firstborn child like Nino you're a father you understand that shit that hits yeah. different that's your firstborn exactly yeah and having all those memories come back that's great internal conflict manifesting with external conflict of not being able to protect his son which is what he wants to do which is something that he struggled with that's a good way to book in back to boruto the movie where the whole conflict was naruto has all this power but he can't take a racine down and say respect me to my son because he has to be a parent and he doesn't know how to do it. Now he has to be a parent, but he can't protect his, his he can't protect his child anymore. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good movie. I think they could do something like that. That's an awesome movie, yeah, definitely. I have one last question I wanted to ask you before we hop off. Um, real quick. Um Borto opening ten. Um, what did you think about it? Is it correct me if I'm wrong, memory wise, isn't this isn't this like the first opening where we see none of the old gen? Like it's like the Almost like the official passing of the torch with like purely new gen. I never even noticed that. Hey, you might be right. Like I'd be the yeah, first one to say, like, I skipped all the openings on boards. I, I watched like opening two. Oh, and and super excited for this. Like, Fact. What was it? Fact. It was opening two and oh. what was the other one? Uh fuck. Say it ain't so. The, the 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 time the time slip opening, I watched that and then the opening that, that they did for uh what was it? Uh when, when they started doing the car stuff, where they started uh, showing, like, car in the open, I started watching the opens. And other than that, like, I skipped all of it. Because, like, I said before, Ooh. I'm not, like, I prefer manga. I don't really fuck with anime like that. And so you watch this do an anime bro. opening, like, I, like, the the song got to hit. And, like, the animation can't just be, like, some random bullshit. Like, it better grab my attention. I'm hitting skip. Because I just want to get to the actual That shit goaded. That this opening animation is fucking goaded, bro. You gotta watch it, man. Yeah. Just the opening, just the opening. And uh, I, I saw the new one, like uh, opening ten. I saw that because I was looking to see if there's any, okay. any Easter okay. eggs in it. They don't like, never, that, that, they, that could they, be a good art. They they never really do anything with the openings though. Like it seems like the openings is just for aesthetics because even in that first, I think it was the first opening with that big ice, like it looked like an ice tail beast or something like that. Everybody was saying, oh, Boruto's oh, about yeah. to be a Jin Cherokee, this tail beast, blah, blah, blah. Nothing from that opening ever ever happened in the series. Well, I, mean, I think that's go back to Naruto, well. like, we didn't see Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura fighting some uh, rogue ninjas and shit that you saw, like, in the first Naruto opening. I mean, that's just anime, anime uh, opening clickbait. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it's hit or miss, in my opinion. I mean, the last opening, we did see a lot of that content. An actual anime, but it's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. I don't really be paying attention to the openings to tell y'all the truth. Like, like Ian said, Dang. I, I kind of skip over them. I, I always, yeah, I always Dang. skip the intro. I always skip the intro to get to the, the freaking this show. I ain't one. got no time to sit there and watch the intro. I mean, but at least watch that. it once. Like, I did a whole breakdown video on this opening. Yeah, like, there's, there's some shit in that shit, bro. Like, it's, it's a great. I just, no, I just no, want to get your a, opinion. It's, a, it's an awesome opening. I'm not, I'm not down on it. Yeah. I'm just saying, as far as like, an open, watching anime, I don't really much. watch openings. Like outside of like Kawaki and Boruto, the symbolism there. What else did you see in the opening? Because like, I was looking for shit. I, was, I did a, a, a I did a mm. last opening, and then they did. And like, I'm looking at this. And I'm like, 
I ain't about to waste everybody's time just talk about like, oh yeah, this is the symbolism of Boruto still being destined to deal with karma and uh, Kawaki being free of it and still stumbling his way through. I was like, nah, nah, I've already talked. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that to people. I'm not gonna really talk about the same shit. I think it's. I think it's less like um, rehashing things, and it's, it's more like, okay, they did something new. How how can you interpret this new thing that they did based off the old thing that's established? Okay. So, it, yeah. it, so it, it's more so like that. So okay. for for example, Sarda in the opening has two Tomos and her Sharingan. We understand at any given moment she can get a third. So I think that right there might be telling in regards well, to the mean, upcoming arcs. I made an actual mm -hmm. video about this though, because there's a moment where she she's using the Chidori against like this golem. And she doesn't, if you freeze frame it, um, she doesn't have her shot and gun activated. So it's stuff like that. Like, yeah, we know she needs the Chidori to use the, um, the shot and gun to use Chidori properly. But, she, but in this frame, she doesn't have it. They probably keyed out the third Tomo. So this opening could be hinting that she will get the third Tomo. I see. Mm -hmm. you know, just, just, stuff like that. just stuff like that. But yeah, um, subscribe oh. to Melo XO. Go one, check that one, out. One last question. Before, <laughs> let me, let me give one more last question before we end this, though. Um, Ian, talking about the the uh, the third Tomo, um, they kind of they skipped that in the in the anime. You know, in the manga, she got him when they was having. Well, we don't know when she got in the manga, but the first appearance was when she uh, was fighting Boro. She presented the third Tomo. What, what, was what it in the think? novel? Hmm. No, Say that again, I was like, man? wasn't it? No, I was gonna say then he mentioned that it was in the novels or something earlier. Yeah, I, I don't like think when she novel. she had it in the novel, like. The first time she's trying to in that Sasuke novel, there ain't no mention of a third Tomo, but when Sasuke's training her and she's trying to live up to Sasuke's expectations, all of a sudden she's got three three Tomo in her eyes. So do you think so that they're going to... You, you, sorry to cut you off, Ian. Do you, do you think that that's what they're going to use for the for the uh, anime, though? Do you think that they're, using, they're waiting on that novelization to get adapted into the anime to actually uh, present that third Tomo? Well, that's the reason why we haven't seen it yet? Like one of the writers said, they got a plan for the third Tomo and that they uh, oh. skipped it on purpose. Oh, but I like, never saw that. There was, there was another blog post, too, where some of the Boruto writers uh, and the director for the Boruto anime actually liked the post. Uh, the post. But some of the writers are saying, like, yeah, you know, we went through like 55, 60 episodes of doing all this stuff for uh, the manga content. Mujina Bandits all the way to Car. It was a big endeavor for us. Like a lot of people don't know this. Like those uh two fifteen, six no two sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, Naruto and Sasuke versus Ishiki, Bariamo, Naruto versus Ishiki, and then the Kurama send off. That was the biggest stretch of high level animators in the entire Naruto franchise working on all those episodes. Mm -hmm. It showed. It showed. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about the fact that, like, now that they've caught up with the manga, they need to look at doing more of the light novel stories. And so I think they might be doing something like that. And, like, there's enough content there because they've done, like, six six light novels in board till now already. Like, all oh, that Academy shit's novels. But they could they could do something like that because, like, if they, if they adapt to the garbage, they can adapt to good shit. 